Today we are doing Indian food versus Chinese food, an international food battle just for you guys. In front of me right now is Chinese food, and what you guys are gonna see is a flip-flop between a Chinese food item that I will eat, review, taste, and rate, and then it'll be an Indian food item, and stick to the end to see which one wins or which one's better, in my opinion, okay? Don't come at me, all right? Don't come at me, or you can come at me, but it's just my opinion, all right? I like food, and I'm gonna show you what I like to eat, or like, I, I don't know. Let's eat! Up first, we got chow mein. Don't roast me, but what's the difference between this and lo mein other than the size of the noodles? Because obviously, size doesn't matter. So anyways, first item, cheers. Mm. Hmm. This chow mein really doesn't have a whole lot of taste to it. Maybe the veggies in it make the difference too. But I prefer the shorter noodles over the longer ones because I'm not slurping them. They're not slapping and squirting all over my face while I'm trying to eat it. So overall rate for the chow mein, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. That's an okay start. ka -chow. Up first for the Indian food, we're going to have the delicious naan bread. Look at this garlic naan bread. Just so big. And you guys know the bigger the better when it comes to food and only food, okay? Mm. I just like it's so fluffy, so much taste, but when you combine that with the other stuff like curry or chicken tikka masala, exquisite. So non bread, I'm going to have to give you a rate of 8.2 out of 10. That's a hot start right there. Up next, we got ourselves some Kung Pao chicken. Absolutely looks delicious. Smells delicious. I love the veggies that are in there. It looks like some zucchini, some bell pepper. Are those like pepper flakes on there? Cause that's got some zing to it. I like that tang. Jeez Louise, that's pretty dang good. Kung Pao chicken. Mm, mm. I'm gonna give you a rate of 8.1 out of 10 for the Kung Pao chicken. Let's jump on over to a classic, the chicken curry. Oh my goodness, look at just how delicious that is. How can I not make a mess here? You'll see that looking very hot, dripping on my hand. Mm. Ooh, that's hot. That's a spicy chicken curry, but delicious. Oh, the flavors are exquisite. Chicken perfectly cooked. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna have to give the chicken curry a rate of 8.7 out of 10 for chicken curry. Unreal, unreal. Now we're gonna go with a classic. Some good old teriyaki chicken. Teriyaki chicken honestly is my go-to. Very basic. I like that nice teriyaki, you know, little tang taste to it. But I like this because there's not too much on it. Mm. I'm gonna give teriyaki chicken a rate of 8.5 out of 10. Woo! Hop over here to some plain biryani rice. Classic Indian rice right here. It's like a long grain white rice pretty much. Steamed. Not a whole lot of flavor, but I mean, what can you expect? It's supposed to go with curry, whatever your main entree choice is. So for a rate of the rice, we're gonna give it a seven out of 10 here. We're gonna crack over here to your good old classic egg roll. Look at the size of that. Look at the girth on this. It is very, very dense. Looks filled to the brim. That's what I like to see. Better have a good crunch too. <laughs> I should have told you before, I'm not a big egg roll guy. The crunch was almost there, not quite. The filling, how do I describe it? It just doesn't like, it doesn't fulfill my needs that I would expect biting into an egg roll. Like I, an egg roll looks amazing, fried, delicious, but it just never fulfills my needs. It never grabs my taste buds like it should. So the rate for the egg roll is a 6.5 out of 10. Here we are with a mango lassie. Mm, it's like sucking a yogurt smoothie, a mango yogurt smoothie through a straw, which I think is pretty much exactly what it is. Also, excuse my pronunciation on all these foods, okay? If I'm pronouncing them wrong, I'm sorry. I'm American. I could chug the rest of this. Mango lassie, holy crap. It's just the nice sweet taste that you need after eating some of the savory food over here. Mango lassie rate, 8 out of 10. It brought a smile to my face. Crack back over here. We're going to give a good old Beijing beef a go. Look at that. Looks good. Looks coated nice. Veggies look scrumptiously umptious. 
Ooh, that's like a nice little sweet and sour sauce glazed coating on that beef. Wow, my, my mouth sure does like that. Beijing beef, I'm gonna give you a rate of 7.9 out of 10. Ooh, Chinese food, this is impressive so far. Now a classic, a good old samosa. Look at how big that is. That is one ball. Mm. This one's a vegetable samosa. So as you can see on the inside, we got the veggies. Mm, delicious, kind of a buttery taste to it. It's, I mean, it's vegetables, so it's um, as expected when it comes to, you know, the health side of stuff, vegetables, you don't see me eating too many of those. We're gonna give it a rate of a 7.5 out of 10. Hopping over to the last item, we have ourselves a good old spring roll, all right? Good old spring roll. Let's see if it's better than the egg roll. I'm not a fan. It has a lighter coating outside than the egg roll did. The inside, I'm not even sure what's in the inside of these spring rolls. It's just vegetables. It's kind of like cabbage. Not a fan, all right? Did not taste well. Just kind of swallowed it early before I didn't even finish chewing. I just swallowed it to get out of the way. We're gonna have to give that a rate of five out of 10. Oh, the aftertaste is still there, five out of 10. Last but not least, just to put the icing on top, we have chicken tikka masala right there. You'll see that. Ooh. First off, the chicken just pulls apart. That's the exact kind of chicken that I work for in this type of food. That savory, buttery sauce is unreal. Let me just take that and some rice. Mm, goodness. Okay, but that's not what we're rating. Just solely the tikka masala. Straight up, I'm gonna give that a rate of 9.4 out of 10. The highest rating we have had out of all of them. Oh my goodness. 9.4 out of 10 for chicken tikka masala. Much, much well deserved. What a crazy battle we have had. Before I dig in and finish the rest of this food, I'm going to give you guys the results. I did the math. We totaled up each item, each rating score out of 10. The total score, the max possible, could have been 60, which obviously I didn't give any 10 out of 10, so it's not gonna be any that but give me a drum roll please for the result <laughs> Indian food takes it with a 48.8 Ooh, excuse me, out of 60, and Chinese food came in second with a pretty darn close 43 out of 60. Guys, it's hard to compete with Indian food. You know how much I love it. I mean, the chicken tikka masala was the game changer at the end. Very impressed with both foods. And I am just salivating over all of this food. I'm gonna dig in. Just taking some of the naan, dipping it in the tikka masala, dipping it in the curry. Mm. Anyways, sorry, I hope you guys enjoyed. Go comment down below what food battle you want to see next, whether or not it's two different restaurants or two different countries, you know, cultural type of foods. So go comment, like, and subscribe. I love you guys, and cheers.